Well, <laughs> there weren't very many of you that didn't click the button and say you want to see some more. So apparently you'd like to learn how to make a golf ball do what you want it to do. Uh, you know what? It's, that's really not funny. And the reason I say that's not funny because you're here because you're sincere about wanting to learn something. Well, I'm sincere about wanting to help you learn something and show you something, okay? So it seems like we may have a little something going here between us that could work out. Uh, I've been a golf pro teaching this stuff for 50 years. And my main thing that I do, because I'm very different, I don't teach golf swings. I, t I like to tell my students that I don't really teach golf. I tried to tell them that I, don't mean, I probably don't know a whole lot about the golf swing itself, although I really do. The reason I say that is because for nearly 25 years, I played at tour level. I've shot thousands and thousands of rounds in the 60s and as low as 60. Now, that's not to boast to you. It's just to, I know what I'm talking about. I like to tell people I don't know much about the golf swing because I don't like golfers to be focusing on the golf swing. I, in a recent, in this clinic I did, it totally shocked the guys when I went out to the range and made three perfect golf swings. One of them went fanning right over the top of the ball, missed the thing by an inch, so the ball stayed there. The next one, the club hit a foot behind the ball. And the third one, it hit the ground right where the ball was and it just took off sailing. Now I asked the gentleman if they could tell any difference in the swing. And they said, well, yeah, that one missed the the ground all together and that one hit way back there. I said, but you couldn't tell the difference in the swing, could you? No. I said, you're right, because they were all identical. I just didn't hit the ground or hit it in the wrong place or just made the same swing and hit it in the right place. You were born with a perfectly natural golf swing. So no one needs to teach you that. We just need to teach you what to do with it. In golf, if we can make the club strike or contact the golf ball the proper way, it's gonna go. So you can take a touring professional or me or you or anybody else, you can take this whole big loop and swing. In fact, I'll show you a swing. Take a look, here's a golf swing. My eyes, close my eyes. I should be able to at least make contact on a golf ball with my eyes shut. There's a full golf swing. Now guess what? That part right there, just before the club met the ball on that full huge golf swing is the chip shot. <laughs> And what everybody's teaching in the golf industry, we're told to teach you, we're taught to teach you this whole thing and then start trimming it down to this little part that meets the ball. Well, I'm kind of a funny old boy. I was just raised in the country, so I'm, I've got a wet, different way of thinking. My thinking always was, if I could make the club touch the ball correctly from this far, I could probably do it from this far. If I could do it from that far, I could do it from farther and farther until I was contacting it from all the way back. When I, uh, I played a little bit of basketball, went to college on a little basketball scholarship, and the way I learned to shoot baskets was got right under the hoop and just shot layups, shoot it, catch it, shoot it, and catch it. And then after I could do that and make every one of them, I backed up about that much. <laughs> something very, that's a, that's a, long, a long layup, <laughs> okay? I did the same thing. Then I went that much farther, that much farther, that much farther. Well. Over a fairly short period of time, I'd taught myself to really shoot a basketball because I didn't go out the three-point line and start trying to make everything. I started something I could do and built on it. Now, that's how you should learn golf because in golf, we tee it off and rip it off the tee, hopefully, <laughs> hit it to the green, somewhere around it, chip it on if we miss the green, and go putt. The problem with that, that's how everything is taught, but that's not how we learn. In order to learn golf, we need to learn how to get the ball in the cup from farther and farther and farther and farther away. So I teach the game of golf from the green back to the tee. It hopefully has made you begin to say, maybe this old man's got something going here that I could listen to and want to understand and know about. Okay? So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you a little quick little clip here of how to make contact on the ball with a little chip shot. Take a look at it. You hardly ever see a touring professional swing none to none referring to the motion of the wrist. There will always be some to none, which is the second way, some wrist in the back swing, none in the through swing, or some and some. In all cases, the wrists go up, down, and up. 
they never go sideways. When we're down here and do this, it feels wonderful for chipping, but it's the lousiest thing it could do in the world. So try to eliminate that, get your hands chopping like we've talked about. Now the reason I want to mention this is because now if I strike a couple of shots for you, you're going to start to see that the earth on this little soft shot, the earth is going to stop your golf club. We're not trying to swing through this thing and go anywhere. That's a sweeping motion that's a very weak, non-consistent move. I want to try to feel like I come down and chop, get the golf club right in a little, just at the grass and the ball, and go on down and let the grass and the dirt stop me. So it's a little chop, just past, just chopping, just past the front of the ball. Okay, not the back, just past the front. So that your speed is carrying through this shot. So we're here. Now you see in the in the movie there, there's no what we'd call a follow through or through swing. We don't need a follow through or through swing. We've got to get this ball spinning. So we take the club back. We come down right into that area with the weight staying on the front. If I can get the back of the golf ball just before the earth gets my golf club, I've got great backward spin. There's no need at all for any type of through swing. If I were hitting a shot normally, that would be probably the most through swing I'd have. My ball was here, my club stopped there. Okay, it's just a, and you'll notice another thing that's extremely important. When I'm here, the club stays low to the ground. Most of you, by the time you get to here, just past the ball, your club's way up here. I want that club in this area. I want that club still on the ground. So when I hit this shot, golf club stays on the earth, doesn't come up. Now we're making spin. There we go, and the club stops low, and it does not have a lot of through swing. This hopefully will help you to develop the feel of two things, how to chop with your hands and how to stop sweeping with your arms because to tap down and keep it low. Now that was kind of different than what you've been taught because you weren't taught in, I didn't teach you to make a putting stroke. I taught you to do something that's very natural. If you've ever hammered a nail, doesn't matter if you're putting it in the wall to hang a picture, or pounding on boards. If you've ever hammered a nail, you can do the chip shot, period. And that's how the pros do it. They all do it exactly the way I just showed you, okay? Now there's contact. Now as we expand that and take it from farther and farther back so we can get more energy in this thing, we end up when it's all finished, we've got something that we call a golf swing. But we, I don't care about your golf swing. I'm not gonna build you a golf swing. I just want you to learn how to make contact on the ball. Once you're making contact on the ball, then the next thing we have to do is learn how to control the thing. Now I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm once again going to ask your permission because I, I don't want to drag you into something you're not interest, I don't, interested in. I don't want to take your time. I know you're busy. We're all busy. So if you'd like to learn, start to learn how I taught these guys at this clinic to control their golf shots without ever talking about a golf swing, click the button again and say, Daryl, send me some more. I want to I'm kind of curious how you did that, all right? And I'll give it, I'll, I'll, I'll send it to you so you can watch it too. You'll be shocked. You'll be totally shocked because there's not that much to this. You're going to go, duh, <laughs> where's this guy been hiding? Well, I live in a small town out in the sticks. That's where I'm hiding. <laughs> See you tomorrow if you want to go along. Bye-bye.